By now you must be familiar with the fact that plants make their own food by the process of photosynthesis. They use the energy from the sunlight and also use the carbon dioxide in the air to produce glucose. And then whenever they need energy, they break down this glucose to release that energy and they use this energy for their day-to-day -day activities. You also must be familiar with the fact that photosynthesis takes place in the green parts of the plant, specifically the leaves. That is because the leaves have this organelle known as the chloroplast. The chloroplast contains structures known as thylakoids in which chlorophyll is present. Chlorophyll is the pigment, the green pigment, the pigment that gives the plants their green color. It has the ability to capture the sunlight and then, you know, make sure this entire process even takes place. This entire photosynthesis process even takes place. Now, the reaction might look straightforward, pretty simple, like you're just going to convert this carbon dioxide, this carbon here into glucose. Glucose is C6H12O6. But the process is actually not quite straightforward. To understand what I mean, let's take a look at the equation of photosynthesis. So this is the equation of photosynthesis where you have 6 carbon dioxide and 12 water molecules reacting in the presence of sunlight to give one molecule of glucose which is C6H12O6, 6 molecules of water and 6 molecules of oxygen as the byproducts. So these two are the byproducts of photosynthesis. Now, what if I were to tell you that photosynthesis is not a straightforward reaction and that even carbon dioxide does not even come into the picture until much later in the process. To understand what I mean, you have to understand the fact that photosynthesis is actually split into two distinct reactions. The light reaction and the dark reaction. The light reaction is also known as the light dependent reaction and it absolutely needs sunlight to take place. It is sunlight dependent. The dark reaction is also known as the light independent reaction because it does not need sunlight, at least not directly. It is independent of sunlight. It can even take place up to a certain amount of time even in the absence of sunlight. This light reaction means that it can take place only during the day when there is sunlight. But this dark reaction does not mean that it can take place only in the night. Every time dark reaction needs to happen, light reaction first needs to occur. Because the products of the light reaction, they go on to fuel this dark reaction. So in during the night when the light reaction is not taking place, dark reaction will also not take place because the products are not formed. And in the absence of sunlight, light reaction will immediately stop. But the products that have already formed, they would have accumulated a little bit. And with that, the dark reaction will continue for a certain amount of time, after which that will also stop. So ultimately, sunlight is absolutely needed for photosynthesis. It's just that for light reaction, it cannot take place without sunlight. But dark reaction can take place without sunlight for a small period of time. Now, what are these products of the light reaction that go on to fuel this dark reaction? They are ATP, which is adenosine triphosphate or the energy currency of all living organisms and NADPH. NADPH is a coenzyme that stands for nicotinamide, adenine, dinucleotide, phosphate, hydrogen. Now, this is the reduced form of this coenzyme. Its oxidized form is NADP+. Plus it gets reduced to NADPH in the light reaction. Oxygen is also produced in the light reaction as a byproduct. Now, here's a question. Do you think oxygen is produced from carbon dioxide or water? Because both have oxygen, right? O2 and O. Which do you think contributes to the production of oxygen as a byproduct? This question will be answered when we talk more about the light reaction in another video. Before that, let's take a look at what dark reaction involves. Dark reaction is also known as carbon fixation because it literally involves fixing the carbon in the carbon dioxide into the glucose, into sugars. So here is where carbon dioxide even enters the picture of photosynthesis only in the dark reaction. Whatever is absorbed from the atmosphere is used to produce sugars or glucose. 
So in a series of videos, we learn more about the light reaction and the dark reaction, where they take place and how they take place.